Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown. We've got a good one today. Here we have Walter Arms versus Ruger. We're going to ask the viewers to decide which one of these companies, highly respected companies, make the best handguns. But before we do that, let's report the results from the last handgun showdown where we featured Taurus versus Remington and I have to say the Taurus people came out they came out in droves and put Taurus over the top with the favorite handguns between these two so there we go I'm looking forward to this one let's get right to Walther Arms versus Ruger let's start with Walther Arms and here we have their most popular PPQ compact size great all-around handgun with a four inch barrel cross-directional texturing on the grip feels extremely comfortable 15 rounds in the magazine and the trigger pull is pretty amazing i i love it and when you live fire this you can really feel the difference with a very short reset what a what a nice gun walter did here and then they they took that cross-directional texturing that was so popular and applied it to some of their other models most all of them and here we have the ccp m2 now they they much improved the m2 model from the original ccp this is a gas delayed blowback system it it carries eight rounds it is a single stack magazine but it does have a striker fire indicator there very nice trigger and then the reset almost a full position but it is a soft shooter and that's the reason why they they made this gas delayed blowback ccp m2 and i i think they did a great job once again very comfortable with that grip and i think walter did a nice job now those who love the full size ppq or shall i say the the compact size because they they do have the q5 which has, is a five inch barrel it's also a ppq but anyways here is the subcompact model basically they shortened it and they decreased the height and made a subcompact ppq that's pretty outstanding now it does have a 10 round magazine but the ergles are, are the same it does have a two finger grip and once again that very nice trigger makes a very nice ccw package the walther models highly respected in the gun community very seldom do you hear people complain about walther arms they have excellent customer service excellent firearms very well respected they will match up well with ruger so let's see what ruger has to offer ruger has an incredibly vast amount of handguns in their line everything from revolvers to 1911s but what i'm featuring here is what i consider ruger's best semi-auto handgun for the money i know a lot of people like the sr series but i think the american series is incredible and here we have the american compact Various grip modules to custom fit the hand size, three finger contact with a 3.55 inch barrel, 12 rounds in the magazine, and the trigger is pretty, pretty amazing. And you know, I shoot this gun incredibly well with a short reset. It does have no back, no back adjustable rear sights. It, you know, the overall feel and function of the compact, well, the, the American compact, I should say, is pretty amazing. I like the full size American as well but this compact just does it for me excellent ccw choice i know a lot of people use it for all all areas you know ccw and home defense on the budget side of things ruger created the security nine that i think is amazing four inch barrel compact size 15 rounds in the magazine a hammer fired gun that takes the lcp2 technology applied it to a larger model and here we have the security nine a lot of people carry this gun with confidence it's actually quite light for a compact sized model does have the the field goal like rear sight dot in the front and front serrations as well as a rail so you're getting a lot of gun for the money in the security nine and ever since it was released it was welcomed with open arms and people love it now if we look at what else ruger offers look at the gp100 match champion in 10 millimeter I incredible revolver they have the lc our line of revolvers a lot of people carry they also have a 1911 line called the ruger sr 1911 here's the 10 millimeter model excellent guns by ruger nobody could doubt that i think ruger's done a great job and i think they match up well with any company out there so there it is the question is which one of these companies do it best for you is it walther arms or 
Is it Ruger? Let us know in the comments. I'll be sure to add them up and report the results with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.